being able to manage my time, those were my, um, the things that I really learned the most here because it really helped me to really shuffle and like juggle everything that I had, had to do and eventually it just really helped me get through college. A lot of professionalism because I think the school really focuses on the fact that you're not going to be here for the rest of your life so you're going to graduate, you're going to go out into the workforce and you're going to have to make those you know decisions that that prepare you for you know going out there. I've definitely learned how to be independent, kind of live on my own, make it on my own. Um, I'm actually from I'm locally so although like um, I still kind of depended on my parents, you must have definitely taught me how to like make that next step. Some people like to work independently. I'm not like that. I'm, I like to actually, like when I'm part of an organization, like for example, males, I try to give it all my all, try to work with the EVOR as much as possible. When I'm in group projects, I, you know, reach out to all my group members. I do all the effort to always maintain that group connection. I've learned that I'm a very hard worker. Um, I, I like to take challenges and really you know, run with them. Um, very creative, um, especially with my um, work with athletics and the Office of Student Activities and Leadership. I've learned to kind of like open myself up and not be afraid to like talk to people and kind of not be afraid to approach people and kind of a lot more outspoken and a lot more outgoing from UMassel. I've definitely met a ton of people, like hundreds of people, and the relationships I have with those people have really helped me along, uh, especially with my involvement in MISA, the Music and Entertainment Industry Student Association. I've gone to conferences. I've met a lot of people here that have a lot of real world experience and uh, just having that resource available is valuable. I've used so many resources from this school, career services to build my resume, just workshops and stuff like that and just talking to people from student activities they give the best advice advice and just my department as well economics and legal studies they are amazing people. At least for the Man School of Business if you want to study um, go to the lab to the business lounge after 11 p.m. It's so quiet. You get this this really nice space, nice comfy chair. You don't have to you don't have to be in the library with anyone else. It's really great. When you first get a project, you're gonna have all sorts of new and exciting ideas about it, and you're gonna be really enthusiastic about just doing it. And you're gonna put it off because you have other things to do. You have the classes to do. You have papers to write. Don't put it off. Do it immediately. If you want good pasta, the best you should go to South Campus. They make it for you, they make it based off of what you want, and I think that that's the best pasta you'll ever have. The convenience store right on North is open till late, and they actually open later during finals week, which is even better, so anybody who's looking for like candy or energy drinks, they are open, and like, it's really good to have when you're a procrastinator like me, or if you're up late studying for finals or a test. Get to know Lowell. It's a beautiful city with a lot of history and a lot of culture, a lot of music and art, and not enough people recognize that and enjoy it. It's really a beautiful city, so get out there and learn it. It's an exciting time to be here just because of the Division One, and I really encourage you guys to really take the time and really go out to the games and support the Riverhawks because it's just getting better and better and better. So once you guys get the time, just do it. It's, you'll be all in.